Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Krupp's Two Slice Toaster. The unit measures about eight inches in height, 12 inches deep, and about seven inches wide. There's cord storage on the bottom. The cord length is about 40 inches and very long compared to most appliances. The housing is stainless steel, so it's great for those of you who don't like the plastic coated toasters. It can give off an unpleasant smell. Before you start using the toaster, Toast on the highest setting a few times without any bread in the toaster. That helps burn off any dust and prevent any unpleasant smells when toasting. There's a bagel setting, reheat setting, defrost, and cancel. Cancel is what you press when you want to stop the toaster. When you press cancel, the lever will pop up automatically and the unit will shut off. If you've already made toast and just want to reheat it, you can press the reheat button. It heats the already made toast for about 30 seconds without toasting it further. Use the defrost setting when you're toasting frozen food. It'll take longer than toasting regular room temperature bread. When you use the bagel function, put the cut side of the bagel facing the middle. There's a picture on top of the toaster so you don't forget. You can choose how brown you want your toast to be by using the rotating knob and selecting from one for lightest to six for darkest. You can also choose in between the numbers. First, I'll toast regular white bread. I'm just taking this out of the refrigerator. I'll choose three for the shade setting and press the lever all the way down to start toasting. You'll see the blue cancel light is lit up. The toast is firmly held in place. After one minute and 40 seconds, the lever popped up and the unit turned off automatically. There's no color on the toast at all. It really doesn't even look toasted. It just looks like the um, same color I put in and it's just warm. So we're gonna have to try this again. I'll try setting six. Press the lever down. That took three minutes and 15 seconds and I burned my toast. So six is a little bit too high. It's evenly burned, that's good. I'll try another two pieces. This time I'll choose setting four. That took one minute and 30 seconds for the four setting. It's extremely light. This is a lightly toasted piece of bread. And it's pretty even. The very little color that's on it is pretty even throughout. So I think four is a good setting for toast. And a minute and 30 seconds is really pretty quick for toast. I'll turn the knob to five. And we'll try toasting an English muffin. That took two minutes and 45 seconds. And it's actually perfect. Nice and golden without burning. It's very even. So number five is perfect for English muffins. Next, we'll try toasting an onion bagel. Put the cut sides towards the middle. With the bagel setting, only the cut side in the middle gets toasted. That's the same with just about every toaster. I'll leave the dial on five, press the lever all the way down, and press bagel. The bagel and cancel lights will be lit up. The cycle is ended and that took three minutes. If you can't reach the food and you just want it pushed up a little more, use the lever and you can push up the toast. That's a nice feature so you don't have to burn yourself. Five is a good setting for bagel. You can see some color here. There's a little bit less color here, but it's, it's pretty even. Other piece, this is more even. It's a decent job on the bagel. It's a nicely toasted bagel. The toast I made earlier is cold by now, so I'll try reheating it. Press the lever down and reheat. That took 30 seconds. It's warm and there's no more color on the toast, so the reheat function works well to reheat your food. It's a convenient feature if you're making a lot of toast. Now I'll try toasting these thick frozen waffles. Still on setting five and I'll try the defrost setting. That took three minutes and 10 seconds. Since all the metal parts are hot, if you wanna push the lever up, it's 
hard to find a place to hold a toaster except for maybe the bottom so you won't burn your fingers. This one is a little stuck. Part of the waffle got stuck in the groove inside. One side is more brown than the other side, but it is toasted. Five is a good setting for the waffles also. It's not perfect, but it is toasted. A little honey on there. Even though it didn't look perfect, it's actually perfectly toasted. It's soft on the inside, it's cooked, and the outside is a little crispy. So the defrost setting works well. To clean, unplug the unit and let it cool down. After the unit cools, you can pull out the crumb tray. You can see all the crumbs from everything that I've toasted. Just throw the crumbs out and wipe down the tray. It just slides back. The outside can be wiped with a damp cloth. So you saw how this Krups toaster did on frozen food, bagel, regular toast, and English muffins. All the settings worked well. With most toasters, I find that it's best not to use the lowest settings of one or two, and sometimes not even three because you get barely any color on the food that you're toasting. I like the stainless steel look of the toaster. It's easy to use. My favorite part is that there was no unpleasant smell when using this toaster, like you would get with other toasters with plastic parts. That's definitely an advantage to this Krups. It's reasonably priced, and I think it's it's a pretty good value. As always, I hope this review was useful. If you want to try out the scrubs, I've put a link in the description below. Subscribe for more reviews and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.